standards that we won't. The, 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 that is a ridiculous hoax. That's like saying Godzilla is real and attacked Tokyo last week. I mean, it is a verifiable, absolute, bald-faced lie. But then you see the truth occasionally rear its ugly head, but by individual Chinese citizens who I'm sure will get arrested or imprisoned or sent to a re-education camp because you criticize things there, that's what happens. Again, uh, Paul Watson's wife contributed to one article. She's Chinese. Uh, to one article and her family and people got threatened and she was told all the way into England, you better not write for Prison Planet anymore. And we're only one step away from that with Congressman Cohen running around on a witch hunt against Jesse Ventura, myself and others. Uh, you know, he's getting shows pulled off television. And, 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 and reportedly they pulled the shows, you know, so that Homeland Security and, and Cohen wouldn't start demonizing them and attacking them. But of course they went ahead and went after him anyways. I mean, that's where we're going here. Apple faces pollution storm in China. Well, I thought Apple's liberal. I mean, they got Al Gore on their board. They're always telling us how we got to shut down Texas power plants, how we got to you know, pass carbon taxes that are paid to Al Gore and the IMF and World Bank. You look at the big carbon trading company in England, the biggest in the world, Rothschild owned. I looked up Sir James Wolftonson last night doing some research on him. I already knew it, but how he's named after James Rothschild and how he was born on Rothschild's birthday and all this weirdness. Now he works for the Rothschilds. That's who ran the World Bank for all those years. I mean, it's disgusting to watch this mafia getting away with this. But but then on a high horse telling us we can't collect rainwater uh, and, and, and that I've got to pay a three-plus billion dollar carbon tax living here in Austin over the next three years to these people. Oh, yeah, they couldn't get Congress to pass it, so they're just coming in, buying off the cities and doing it. Continuing, Apple faces pollution storm in China. A group of 36 Chinese environmental groups has accused Apple of failing to address concerns over pollution and worker health issues in factories supplying components for its gadgets. Yeah, the fumes, the toxic waste. I mean, you look at photos of these people in their work in 16, 18 hours a day, their children are, are taken from them and raised in government facilities. This is all on record. This is what Apple supports. And then you see every liberal car in Austin, almost every with Apple stickers, and they're just running around, Apple's so liberal. Oh, my gosh, it's so good. Oh. And we've got Apple editing computers because they're inexpensive and work well compared to even more expensive systems we've tried, you know, G5s and all that stuff and whatever their names are. But, uh, you, you know, the issue is... We're just pointing out that this is a monstrous, wicked company, just like Microsoft. And they always pose as liberals. Bill Gates says he's putting, you know, hundreds of billions of dollars of his and other people's money in this tax-free foundation uh, to save the earth. Those are businesses they run tax-free. Just like Obama's buddies are all exempt from the health care law. They don't have to buy the insurance. It's all fraud. And Jaron just walked in and gave me something that complete me, just completely blew me away. They have been quietly beta testing. I can hardly talk what I was just shown. It's just one more piece of the tens of thousands of pieces that totally confirms we're absolutely on target about everything we've said, except for the fact that it's worse than I could even imagine. Every night now, every morning, I am freaked out when I'm eating breakfast with my children or drinking a cup of coffee or researching that this is so real. Every day I wake up at 6 a.m. or even earlier. Today I slept in late. I woke up at about 7.30, and I woke up in the bed with my children running into the room, and I looked at how innocent and good they are and how they deserve a future of liberty and freedom. And I just said, God, I hope this country repents. When our government is openly embracing China, the most murderous government in history, and trying to spin it like it's good, and our media all over the place is telling us how China's great and how authoritarianism's kind of cool and gets things done, China allows parents... Who, 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 who aren't, they take the rural family's children and put them in these factories as young as 10. But in other cases, they just take people's children and chain them to light poles. And the police allow it when they go to work. And the kid sits there for 14, 15, 16 hours chained to a pole. No food, no nothing. And, you know, the father I saw in one piece was interviewed. He said, well, I've got to go work. Uh, you know, he pulls people in a hand-drawn taxi 
or there'll be no food. And he gets that money every night and runs and gets his son and goes back to his wife and they eat the food that the money bought and they live in a shack by a toxic waste river. That was just one case. And then that's, and that's what we're competing against. That's the lifting China up. It's actually brought China down. And then they praise China for its environmental standards. But when our government openly embraces tyranny, now worldwide, the push for homeland security, the push for checkpoints, the push for wireless wiretapping, warrantless wiretapping, that is now used, instead of America being that example of liberty, it's now the example of tyranny being good. And so is China. And I remember back to the Sandpoint Naval Brig, and I remember it was confirmed by local police in all three newspapers in Seattle. I'm about to get to the new news. It all ties together. I'm trying to bring into my understanding, my worldview, so, so you can see the three-dimensional model and then integrate it yourself and then tie it into your own data you're picking up locally so you understand how I think, how I understand all this. The minute Jaron brought this in and I just looked down at it, and I'm not telling you what it is yet, it instantly caused an entire matrix grid of understanding with thousands of research data points historically and what's happening domestically. Army checkpoints we videotape, pulling over buses and searching citizens 12 years ago, 13 years ago in central Texas. Fake nuclear spills on I-35 we've witnessed and exposed to, 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 to practice martial law takeover drills where they announce the nuclear spill is real. Uh, Homeland Security rolling out at shopping malls and Walmarts and citizen spy grids and professionals from dentists to managers to you name it. I mean, my own father. And then he went in and, and told the other dentist about it. And he said, oh, yeah, they came to my house last week separately and tried to recruit me for Homeland Security to spy on people, to spy on patients. I mean, it's just secret police are everywhere. They've built this giant army this giant grid up and it's all around us ahead of the total collapse of our economy and then they'll offer the solution of an authoritarian system in the united states as the answer and a complete top-down engineered managed economy a command and control economy but going back to seattle in seattle and i have this in police state to the takeover uh, clips from local news. The Pentagon sent in Delta Force. They met up with Ford Foundation, hired anarchists who knew they were hired. They were housed in a government building. They were protected by the police. They went out and attacked the police, other police that weren't aware of the operation. Those police were told to stand down. It's all on video. And then they let the media film that and the, and, and the public for a day and a half say, why aren't the police doing anything about them burning trash cans, knocking out windows, attacking McDonald's and Starbucks, do something. And they said, okay, problem, reaction, solution. Then they unleashed the, the military, the state police, the police from all over the state, the Seattle police on the 60,000 peaceful demonstrators and routed them even into neighborhoods, running up and savagely beating even old women, young women, men, pulling cars over randomly, dragging women out, spraying pepper spray on them. It was a police riot that the social engineers had triggered. And it later all came out in the news, and I have it in police state to the takeover. Giving you some background here. Then I send my crew to the G20 over a year ago now, since it's in police state for the rise of FEMA. I send them to Pittsburgh, and more than half the city is off limits to even be out and shop. We have footage of old ladies coming out of a grocery store with bags, and a police dog attacks them, and the women say, we're shopping. And they say, no one allowed. Uh, footage of armored vehicles driving through neighborhoods, kids playing with footballs, and Broadcasting, go in your houses now or we're going to hit you with sound cannons. Hired provocateurs again. They admit under the Emergency Centers Act they're going to use military bases to hold people. And when they arrested Rob Dew, Luke Radowski, and others, they took them to a military base. Guess where they're taking the 100 mafia people? To a military base. 
Hi, this is Alex Jones. Did you know that the global elite are now storing non-hybrid seeds in secret storage vaults near the Arctic Circle? Did you know that in a real meltdown, non-hybrid seeds can become more valuable than silver or gold? It's true, seeds have outperformed even gold and silver before in this country, and it's possible that it could even happen again. So our friends at Solutions from Science have put together the perfect mix of non-hybrid seeds. They call it a survival seed bank, and it can produce an endless supply of nutrient-dense food for you and your family. And here's the best part. These seeds have not been genetically modified in any way, and you actually get enough seeds to plant a full acre crisis garden. So visit them today at survivalseedbank.com. That's survivalseedbank.com. Or give them a call at 877-327-0365. That's 877-327-0365. Remember, in a real crisis, non-hybrid seeds are the ultimate barter item. This is Alex Jones for SurvivalSeedBank.com. They helped to create a new world order. We are part of a new world order. A new world order based upon collective action. Invisible Empire is a damning indictment of the globalists through their own words and documents. The new world order really is a tool for addressing a new world of possibilities. It means all the world under their control. The United Nations would take over America. The Trilateral Commission would control the world. Invisible Empire chronicles how men of power and influence have worked in stealth for centuries to establish an oppressive world government. I believe, first of all, that we now need nothing short of a world constitution for the global financial system. Global governance with the establishment of the G20. So it's going to be an inner ruling elite and then everyone else. And I got news for you. You're everyone else. Invisible Empire. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or PrisonPlanet.com or watch it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over five years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light System today complete with two black Berkey elements for only $209 and the Berkey guy will include three sport Berkey water bottles and ship everything to you free of charge. That's right, three sport Berkey water bottles and free shipping. An $87 value, yours free. Call the Berkey guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653. Or order online at goberkey.com. That's goberkey.com today. is they got rid of the Glass-Steagall Act. They were going to implode the United States, Greece, Ireland, the rest of Europe in a co coordinated global operation. But they had to put the police state grid in place. And that's why the Rand Corporation and others in 99 said we're moving into a police state. This is how we're going to federalize police. They published it all. We've shown you the uh, command set up under federal control for small towns, medium towns, cities, large cities. Metropolis, it's all there. We have their complete program. And it literally staggers me.